Hey guys, it's Steve here from Rex Bowling Ball Reviews, and today we're doing a bowling ball review of the Motive Tank Yellow Jacket. So we have a polished tank yellow jacket, out of box, CTD polish, thanks Ron Hickland, and also a fresh, right out of the box tank yellow jacket. So both the same layout, 50 by four and three quarters by 50, very standard, kind of puts a pin a little bit above that ring finger. Uh, it's a little tall, not too tall, just something very basic. So I can show you guys, same layout, different you know, finish on them, with the polish versus the dull, we can go from there. So it features a 257 RG 018 differential, the flux symmetric core. Super smooth, guys. That's what we're aiming for, right? This ball, super smooth. Really good on the sport patterns to control friction. Um, but also, if it hooks too much for you, I would recommend adding the polish. But let's see for ourselves what that looks like. Again, thank you so much, Spectrum Lanes, for letting us bowl on this awesome fresh house pattern. And again, thank you guys so much. You know, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. We got uh, more giveaways coming soon. The 50K giveaway just ended. All right, let's go through all these and see how they compare. All right, guys, so we're bowling on the fresh house shot here. So, got the one that's fresh out of box. We're gonna throw the first one, the fresh out of box. Um, we're just gonna start a little bit straighter. And again, I'm, I'm just gonna just throw it and see what happens. So for me, playing a little bit straighter, realistically, I'm, a two -hand. I'm just gonna start on 20. Okay, so that was to be expected. Uh, so you can see how forward that rolled off the pattern. So we're gonna do the same thing, right at the same spot, and I'm gonna throw the polished uh, tank. So remember, this one is polished, a CTD polish. Didn't change anything, I just ran out of box with some polish on it. Try to throw a very similar shot, see what happens. Ah, look at that, right? So, interesting thought there is that one got substantially farther down the lane than the dull one did. So again, we're just gonna kind of move as we go forward here. So we're gonna go five left, back to the dull one. So five left with my feet. So thanks again, Motive Bowling, for letting me do these reviews. Uh, bowling balls are good, guys. You gotta get your hands on them. All right, five left. See what happens. To be expected. It's probably gonna be like with my feet. I'm probably gonna be getting to like 30, 35, maybe. Oh, just staying soft with it when that ball looks good. Put the right out of the box. Again, if you're bowling on more oil, you know, that would make more sense. Uh, I'm on a house shot right now. So. Yeah, this polished one, I really like the motion of that. That was really, really good. So you guys can decide for yourself which one you like more and what use case you want to use it for yourself. So again, 25. That was amazing. Woo! So, got that one out a little bit more to the right. Um, but again, guys, I'm, I'm not a robot. I was, well, if I was that good, I'd probably be on tour winning everything. Well, every shot the same. Um, but that, again, you guys are seeing the characteristics. If I threw that dull one in that spot, what would it do? Hook a little early, right? Five more left with my feet, guys. Five more left. Bring in my target and as I do this too, by the way, so not just left with the feet. All right, approaches are a little sticky too. So usually in the summer it gets like that. So just gotta make sure that I get into it at the, at the end of the approach there. So again, that ball picked up pretty early. I got a little bit more axe rotation. Um, 
or that's just me thinking, oh geez, hook too much. Lots of hook. Again, I'm really digging this polished one though, guys. This, is, this one's kind of peaking my interest right now. Yep. So that polished one, right? That's starting to kind of slow, really, really smooth. Probably wouldn't throw the polish. I'd probably bring everything in like this or slow it down significantly to get that polished one to kind of pick up a little more. This is real experience though. I just kind of want to show you guys real experience. Nothing crazy, not trying to do anything different. Just throw the shot and see the difference. Five more left. You're standing on 35. So give that ball a couple more shots. So I'm gonna to try to throw the polished one as well in the same spot. Just trust me guys, that ball will start to blend out. Throw more shots with it. And honestly, I'm just kind of basing it off of my video with Chad Reefer we did. Because the video with Chad, you guys saw as we kept bowling with that ball, it just kept blending out and blending out and blending out. So with this polished one, it's just like Insta Smooth, right? So. I'm gonna throw the same shot, same place. This one should go, just keep going. You know, realistically, that's what it should do. Let's see what happens. I'm still gonna have the same spot that I threw with the dull one. To be expected. So that ball's polished out of box with the CTD polish. It just kept going, kept going straight. Didn't really have a whole lot of hook. But again, I like that. With that polished tank yellow jacket, I probably throw that a little bit more on these high friction house patterns. This dull out of box one though, yeah. I mean, probably on the sport patterns, I'll be throwing it a lot more. I was trying to throw a good one here with this dull one though. Let's just trust it and see what happens. There it is. Told you guys, told you guys to be patient. Wait till it starts striking. So, see how it just started to start blending out? It's because that surface is starting to get broken in a little bit. So, for me, realistically, if I was throwing these two tank yellow jackets, I would throw the polished one when they're burned up, lots of hook, super smooth. I can play a little bit farther right, keep it in front of me. Uh, the dull one, let's say I'm bowling on, I don't know, like 35 feet, like a cheetah pattern or like a 40 foot flat pattern. I can really ream on it, play that track area and it to be very, very smooth to control the friction. So again, throw one more shot with this polished one. Same spot. I don't think I really necessarily need to move. Oh, you know what, screw it, we'll move five more left. Just to really show you guys. Move my eyes in as well. Again, not here to strike. I'm sure here to guys show you guys the difference between the surface one and the polished ball. And don't worry, we'll move back to the right and I'll show you guys the goodies with that polished one. So we're five left. Let's make I throw a good one here with this dull one. Let's make it strike, guys. Keep that angle inside as well. All right, I had a little bit more axis rotation on that one, but all right, I think that's a pretty good representation, you guys, uh, based on what we've seen of what the polished one versus the dull one does. Let's jump back to the right, show the polished one again. Let's move, stand, I'll start on 20 again, because I really like playing with 20 on this ball. Let's see, which one's the polished one? Losing track of bowling balls here, guys. All right. I was 25, it was around 25 when I really liked this, so. 25, Let's see what happens.
Whoa, messenger, I like that. So you guys kind of see how smooth that was. It just, whoo, super blend, super smooth. Let's try the dull one, same spot. What is this gonna do? So you guys can probably already guess, but it'll still be a little bit smoother than it was earlier because we've been breaking it in. Ah, now it's starting to blend out. So I think I had some insider scoop from Chad Reefer just from watching his. So I'm just kind of going off what Chad did on his video. Um, but yeah, guys, so hopefully, you know, that comparison, this video, kind of give you guys a good representation and understanding uh, of the polish versus the right out of the box tank yellow jacket. So go ahead and grab yours. It's available July 12th, 2023. All right. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, you guys can see the difference between this dull one, which definitely needs a nice cleaning with my uh, CGD purple stuff, and the, and the polished one, which is a little bit dirty, but you can see it's the, sh the shine's really showing after throwing it a bunch. Personally, in my opinion, if I was pulling on a high friction house pattern, the polish. If I was pulling on a tougher shot, or I just wanted something to start blending out a little bit earlier, and just be a little bit smoother overall, but earlier and stronger, the dull one. So. Thanks again, Moda Bowling, for providing these bowling balls, for you know, letting Rex do this awesome review. Thanks again, Spectrum Lanes, for putting out the shot. All right, guys, thanks again. Looking forward to giving you more content soon.